welcome back to our channel. Today we will be reading Mother Goose Goes to India. Jai be nimble, Jai be free, Jai jump over the Mama Bati. Jai is a boy's name in Hindi, an Indian language. Mama Bati means candle. Tunga Bridge is falling down. Tunga Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. Tunga Bridge is falling down, my fair Mahala. Build it up with wood and steel, wood and steel, wood and steel. Build it up with wood and steel, my fair Mahala. Tunga is known as a bridge, and Mahala means a lady. Ache though time to go. Ache though time to go. Teen char start the car. Pa che drive away. Sat aunt not the lot. Now thus avoid the bus. Ache means one. Do means two. Teen means three. Char means four. Panch means five. Che means six. Sat means seven. Aunt means eight. No means nine. And thus means ten. In Hindi. This little sar. This little sar went to bazaar. This little sar stayed home. This little sar had roast ghost. This little sar had none. And this little sar cried wee 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 all the way home. Sar means pig. Bazaar means market. And ghost means meat. Ba ba black bead. Ba ba black bead. Have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Teen bags full. Ache for the swami. Ache for the dame. And ache for the little boy who lived down the lane. Bear means sheep. Teen means three. Ake means one, and then Swami is a spiritual teacher. Puja, put the kettle on. 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 We'll all have cha. Suka, take it off again. Suka, take it off again. Suka, take it off again. They've all gone away. Puja is an Indian girl's name that means prayer. Chai means tea. And then Suka is an Indian boy's name that means wind. Little Miss Muffet. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet eating her dahi and whey. Along came a macadie who landed abruptly and frightened Mrs. Muffet away. Dai means yogurt. Magadi means a spider. Little Jack Horner sat in the corner eating Diwali sweets. He nibbled on burfi and sipped on mango lassi and said, What delicious treats! Diwali is the Indian festival of lights. Burfi is an Indian dessert made from milk powder. And then Lassi is a yogurt-based drink. Jai and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of pani. Jai fell down and broke his crown and Jill felt very sorry. Jai is an Indian boy's name that means victory. Jill is an Indian girl's name that means lake, and then Pani means water. Garam cross buns. Garam cross buns. Garam cross buns. Egg a penny, do a penny. Garam cross buns. Garam means hot, egg means one, and do means two. Hickory Dickory Dock. 
The chua ran up the clock. The clock struck thus. The chua made a fuss. Hickory dickory dock. Chua means a mouse. Thus means ten. Pat a nan, pat a nan, baker's man. Bake me a nan as fast as you can. Pat it, prick it, and mark it with a B. Put it in the oven for bacha and me. Nan means Indian bread. Bacha means a baby. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the Raja's horses and all the Raja's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Raja means king. Hey diddle diddle, the billy and the fiddle. The guy jumped over the moon. The little kuta laughed to see such sport and the dish ran away with the spoon. Billy is a cat, guy is cow, and then Kuta is a dog. Tara light, Tara bright. First Tara I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might. Have this wish, I wish tonight. Tara means a star. Thank you for watching. Uh, we hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, storybook. Uh, this is actually an Arthur's note that I would like to share with you guys. Uh, we both loved Mother Goose nursery rhyme when we were children. As a child in India, Sushita enjoyed listening to the rhyme and the cadence of these remarkable tales as her parents read them to her when she became a mother while living in the United States. She read many of these poems to our children, Kabir and Kashi. Mother Goose nursery rhymes are universal and they're read around the world. In writing this book, we reimagined our favorite nursery rhymes with an Indian twist. We hope you had as much fun reading this book as we did while writing it, and we hope that you learned a few Hindi words along the way. Our favorite Mother Goose rhyme is one, two, buckle my shoe. Which one is yours? Thank you again for watching, guys, and we hope you enjoyed uh, Mother Goose Goes to India. And stay tuned for another book read coming soon. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Goodbye. Bye.